Ain't spaz in a minute, let me go crazy. Woods in the walk, have a nigga feeling so lazy. I'm from the trenches in the rack where they smoke babies. But I'm used to a hard body, so it don't phase me. Run up on them, have them crying, talk about don't blaze me. Told my cousin I need some blicks and he just okay me. Thought it was chicken, now he turkey, need some more gravy. Heard she got a bomb on her head, gave her throw babies. And niggas steady flogging on the body count. We all know who really patching shit, so what the cap about? Them niggas pussy, all they wanna do is run their mouth. I'm on demon time, so when I catch them, I'ma clock them out. I'm nice with the hands too, sock them, knock them out, but we ain't getting into that no more. So now we rocking out. I'm on the mission to the top, it ain't no stopping out. Finna be doing shows, walk right in that bitch and rock. Everyone in the FOTW universe, welcome to another episode of FOTW Nitro. And we are starting it off with the guy, the man that will face C Town at King of the, King of the Cell for the World Heavyweight Championship, Joe's World. And he is started off tonight. Getting some action in, trying to get some momentum going into King of the Cell in a couple weeks' time. If you're seeing this, it's literally a day. Don't worry about that. Anyway, Jones looks ready and focused. No T-shirt. He got. He's taped up his hands. He's ready to. He's ready to get, get into the action. He's ready to beat up on whoever his opponent is here tonight. Look at that man. That's a. That's a. That's a confident man right there, man. You know what I mean? I got my, I got my dogs. Curtis the Duck Jackson is backstage. He's handling some business. I got my dog, Season Towns in here. Who will be, who will have to leave shortly because he has to, he has some uh, promotional work for Freaky Man to do in about for like a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to come in and and say hi to the fans of FOTW. Thank you for joining us for the FOTW Nitro. We got Joe Brown here being the great the great wrestler that he is. And then we We have we Octavius Rockbro who did make his debut on Royale who is now making his first single snap here in FOTW Nitro. Um uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, Yo, he reminds me of one wrestler before. I don't know. I, I can't quite put my finger on it. Mm. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of see what you put. I, I, I'm picking up what you put down, my boy. Nigga, is that a? Is that a? I don't know what that is under the under the uh, under the other shit. Is that like a chest protector or something? Some freaky ass chest protector on under the other shit. Anyway, let's get to this action, man. First match, opening match, Jones Ruff versus Octavius Rockwell here tonight on FOTW Nitro. And all nice yeah, Billy Octavius is, pretty, Octavius is pretty tall. I didn't notice that. He is pretty tall. He look, he, he look like, he look like, he look like a, a '70s NBA player, man. He look like uh, Julius Erving, man. Yeah. Is he oh, nice, nice hurt Carolina. This one punches to the to the guy's face. Throwing them into the corner. Oh, look at this midsection to the. Oh man, now Jones is stopping out Octavia for Rockwell in the corner. Yeah, Jones already whips him. And a pop up kick Whoa. to the chest. Yeah, I like that type of move right there. That's a good movement. Yeah, he takes off the pin. So just, to try, just to try to do some more damage. Wrenching the neck. In the head of Octavius Rector, as you can see, his head, his, his hand is in his afro. <laughs> oh, look at this. oh, Octavius Rector was using his power, but Jones with a counter. 
and using his power as well, getting him a power slam in his own. Look, it's hard to even carry Jones' world. That's a big man. That's a big lead, if you ask me. So the fact that even Rockwell had it, had the strength for it, hey, that's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. A great reversal by Jones. And all over the shoulder block. And the corner on nice counter by Octavius. Jones World is putting some some great work in right now. Look at the oh, power of Octavius power. Rockwell. Oh my god. And then a follow win slam. Look at this. The power. Oh, wait a minute. Nice counter from Octavius. Four for two. Oh, not, not even a one count. Rev didn't even, didn't even count. His power. Oh, he's trying to do it again, but Jones got him with his own power. And a power slam on the outside of the ring this time. Speaking of free team in here, we are over a month away from the biggest pay per view in FOTW history. We, are, we will be live in Los Angeles, California. On April 13th and 14th for night one and night two of the freakiest night in wrestling, freaky mania. I am excited. I'm so happy we are we are close to home. I'm close to my hometown now. I'm not from LA, but we we are we will be, we will be in California. You know I mean, I wish it was open. I wish it wasn't open. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, type shit. But you know saying? can't get everything you want. Like, oh, nice neck breaker from Octavius Rockwell. Going for the pin. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he just went prop kick to the back. Right he's giving, he's he, he trying his best against one of the best in, in, the, in the world right now. <laughs> And I spear by Jones. That might be. It. That might be it. One, two, no! Octavius Rockwell kicked out of the spear. But Jones caught him into another slam. And oh, another power slam. And the same spear that E Town was down in two. E Town had a push. I got two spears. From last week, that was a crazy, crazy episode, especially that ending. How did you feel about that? That was Jones. Jones took his shot. He took his shot. He seen seen town by slow down. He took his shot. That's a great tactic. Yeah, that's I, great I, tactic. yeah. It's great. Uh, I, personally, I would never be called Steve Nash ever. That to me, that was a crazy line from Town. Deep and match. Oh, nice counter from Octavius. As he was he reversed whatever Jones was going for, but Jones was going to mess with his hand. And now, oh, man, and Jones got him for the Jones driver. One, two, no! Octavius kicks out. And the man Jones with a submission hold of Boston Crab by Jones. And he, and he takes it out, takes him out of it. Now look at this. Look at the power deadlift. Suplex. by Jones and Octavius Rockwell is down and out on the outside of the ring for the power Jones is trying to do as much damage as possible to Octavius Rockwell right now Oh my god, 
by slamming his head into the into the ring post. And he throws him. Oh, he's, oh he, he tried to throw him in the ring. Throws him. Now he throws him in the ring. And now Tony going up to the top rope. And Octavius Rockwell is getting back up on his feet. And oh, he's going for a DDT. Oh, Octavius moved out of the way. Oh, nice clothesline. Another clothesline, Octavius. He's trying to prove it. He's trying to prove the doubt is wrong. Another clothesline. Tip it. The crowd is cheering loud. He's up. Oh my God! That's it. I think that's it. One, I got two, it. No. He's just. He's just. He's trying to prove everybody wrong. He. This will be the biggest win of his career. Oh, Jones. Moves out of the way. And a spear. Boy, it's trouble. And he kicked out again. That's two spears. Kicked out at two. But he's going for a Jones driver once again. Another Jones driver. And Jones with a, 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 a great win. Wait a minute, that's C Town. C Town with the title hits him across the face with the FOTW World Championship. And C Town stands. Wait a minute. Black Justice and Blitz. What the Black Justice want? Talk about with Blitz. Now this is interesting. And the and, and Blitz said, "Don't worry about it." And doesn't get this W, and they, they're looking to get the tag team titles back. They are trying to go back to being number one contenders for the Freaky Nation tag team titles. And now they are about to face G5, who did, who did win in the count out, but that was on Civil. Civil, you're, you're done this shit for just standing outside. Hey, whatever you want to do, hey, man. I'm not, I'm not a contracted wrestler, okay? Whatever you want to do. That's on you, bro, but yeah. G5 got a win against former tag team champions in Charlotte. But now they're looking to, to get another big win against the DDT boys, another former tag team champions. Can they do it? I don't think so. Now, I do think they'll have an impressive showing against who, who some would consider the greatest tag team in FOTW history. The, what, what, is that a hot tank, you tell That they're the greatest tag team in FLCW history? Yeah. It's starting to feel like it, you know? Yeah. It's starting to feel like it. And I, I, we could have conversations. Now, again, FLCW is still a young company. But as of right now, we can say that. We can say that. We can definitely say that they got the most their merch is flying off the shelves. Everybody buying it. Seen a couple of DDT boys shirt in the crowd. But I need to know what what, what Blitz and Black Justice is talking about. That was kind of interesting, kind of suspicious too. I didn't know what they was talking about. Black Justice was talking about. It's the same man that wears a suit to the ring. He's always in. He's always in some some kind of malarkey. Oh, that's a fun. Hmm. Indeed, indubitably. But here we go. We are got our next tag team coming out. It is G5, Big Bro, and you're a mess. They did get a big win last week, even though it was a counter. It was like a counter. But I'm not putting that on me. I usually put it on the winning team, but I'm not putting that on me. Civil was just stupid. They just took a match, which I would do too. The tribe, y'all disappoint me, man. Like y'all can win off the views. But after y'all just lose every time. Like, what's wrong with y'all, man? 
I, I, I should be going to get it. I don't know why y'all win a pay you just to lose. And right after. Man, rude, man. And let's get our mat. Let's get this tag team action started, man. DT Boys versus G5. Look at the lockup. Okay, a chop, another chop, another chop to the boost in the next session, and then a problem, a clubbing blow, clubbing blow to the back of Blitz. He goes to into the corner, oh, a chop. Oh, look at this, look at the sunset flip power bump from the middle. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this, I'm wrenching the arm of Blitz. The DDT boys are coming off of 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 L at, at Royale, and this win right here could get them back to where they, get them back to where they want to be, which is a contention for those tag team championships. Oh, you know, it, is interesting. it is interesting. Ever since they did lose those tag team shot titles, they've been struggling a bit. It's like the turmoil has been a little rocky with the DDT boys. I don't I don't know what's going on, but. They gotta get this is a win that they have to have. They, have to have. they, they actually absolutely need this. While G5, this would be their biggest win. Because not only are they beating one, what some consider is the greatest tag team in this company's history, mm -hmm. but former tag team champions who just lost to another set of former tag team champions that G5 already beat last week. Two back to back big wins against former champions that will put them in contention. That should, that should be, it should be number one for the after that. That's good. And now, bro, all over Blitz, puts my knee tag, Caleb in the match. Bro, look at this power slam by bro. And then you know, Caleb breaking it up. Let me just stomp my god, bro. Oh, right into the turnbuckle, and there, here we go. Oh, uh, wait a minute, look at this, a power slam. And then, oh, look at this. A super turn to a move song. There we go. Nice tag team maneuver by the DDT boys. For the quick rough, they got the quick one. DDT by Caleb. Oh, let's stop it to the arm. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Here we go. Look at this. A shoulder block oh. and a punch to the head. Nice tag team work by the DDT boys. Match so far. Oh, that's kind of on Caleb and then punch the back. And oh, a sleeper slam by Caleb. And oh, nice power slam from Bro. It's available to the midsection of Bro by Caleb. And look at this German suplex by Big Bro. Oh, nice counter. Nice counter. <laughs> by Caleb. Oh, close, close. Here we go. And he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, Wait a minute, oh, Blitz. Bro, it's it. Oh, nice and nice, 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 And Caleb breaks it up. I feel like for, I feel like for the DDT boys, they can't allow 
for them to gain advantage. To get an advantage like this, you have to you have to take that. Because stuff like that right there is the reason why y'all finna be on a slump. Or y'all continuing the slump. You got to take the advantage. Simple. Oh my god, what a nice fisherman driver the blitz who sends it to the apron. And now he tagged, and now Bro ties in Meshi while Meshi's going after Caleb. Oh, oh, Blitz is going after the leg. And he, oh, he hits the leg of Meshi. And Caleb with a little taunt to the crowd while well, Messi's trying to throw his way to, to bro. And he tags in, bro. And Caleb Carter. Look at this a little bit. Nice drop kick. and tag team wrestling. And oh, Caleb going up to the top of bro. Oh, cross body by Caleb. Oh, what a great party. What a great strong party right there. He's and all Caleb right. is hyped. Look at Caleb. He's, in, he's hyped up. We tag and oh, bro. Oh, I tag. Oh, what is this? No, no it does not matter. And a moonsaw by Caleb. And now Caleb is following Meshi on the outside of the ring. While oh, Meshi using his power. Oh my god. Nice. Nice military press slam by the rear of Meshi. Oh, close on by Meshi. And now Meshi with the elbow to the face. Another elbow to the face. Tag it in, bro, again. And on double back body drop to Caleb. And that sends him to the outside of the ring. Beating each other down on the outside of the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Nice counter by Caleb. And a drop kick. No, nice counter by Bro. Oh, nice maneuver by Caleb. He's trying to throw Bro back in the ring, but Blitz is in the way. Oh, Messi just punched Caleb right in the face. And oh, DT by Caleb. Caleb is going towards his corner. He tags in Blitz. Right was going to stay in the ring. Oh, but Blitz got him. Blitz got him with that super ass counter. I got it. Oh, that's not it. Messi breaks up the pin. But Blitz is going for it again. Look at this cutter. Nice cutter by Blitz. Beautiful. Look at the pin. 
I don't think it's going to be it. There we go. Save my Ruff actually Save kicked out right before. before. Ruff actually kicked out right before Messi tried to break it up. And now he's trying to drag him to his corner. But Ruff got out of it. Snap suplex by Big Bro. Oh, nice counter from, from Bro. Well, you get a spin in. Sidewalk slam by, by Big Bro. Oh, look, he's always going for a DT, but, but Messi reverses it. This is a smarter wrestler than people think he is. Over a back fist. But, but Caleb is a little bit of his power, a power slam. Oh my god, what a what a power by bro. And that might might have gave Messi just what he needed. That was smart. Super kick. Oh bro. Me by Messi. Messi going up to the top rope. That rolling leg drop by Messi. And Blitz breaks up the pain. Wait a minute. Oh, he's going for our scissors kick. But Caleb was in the way. Kick up by Caleb. Dropping for one. Oh, straight boy DDT. Nice maneuver. Oh, Caleb breaks it up. Messi gets licked up with a chop. Got some strikes. And I close onto the back of the head. Oh, misses that knee on the side of the head. Nice one by Blitz. Arm track by Blitz. Tags in Caleb. Nick Berkman. And Caleb put a the basement drop kick to the head of Meshi. And oh, that axe kick by Messi to Blitz. He hits it this time, but Caleb is there again to break up the pin. Oh, look at this. Look at this taunt. By Blitz and a chop. Oh, misses that drop kick. He did it way too early. And oh, nice pose run by Messi. Super kick to the midsection. Another close one by Messi. And Messi's going to his corner to tag in, bro. 
Super kick. Wait a minute. This is an attack to your back, bro. Go off the floor. Yeah. Oh, nice kind of bar, bar blitz. Blitz. With that suplex cutter again. Out. Hey, Tags and Caleb. And Caleb is about to hit him with that suplex cutter. He wants more. And Meshi was there to break up the pin. Going for a splash on his back. The rug out of the way, tags in Meshi. Look at this. The axe kick, the single kick again. Two. Um, a two. Oh, he misses that roller rug drop. Store for Caleb. The double back body drop to Caleb. And now brother's a legal man. Nice counter and then a club and blow to the back. Nice counter by brother. Oh, nice close on my boy. And he hits him with that leg drop this time. But blitz, yeah, so close to blitzes. And he kicks the rough by accident, but breaks up the pin in the process. And he throws in blitz. Fellas blitz out the ring. Oh, nice elbow. I mean, knee to the face. And Caleb. Oh no, Blake, but now you can have to look at that camera, go for the pit. I think uh, Meshi breaks it up. And Meshi breaks up that submission hole. Caleb be in this corner. Caleb flying! Too big for me, man. Oh, he takes out Messi. Tags in, please. Right 
And I'm saying Caleb again. Caleb, we got Suplex cut on one more time. One, two, three. A much needed win for the DDT boys. That was a great tag team match. Great tag team action, man. And DDT boys are back in winning form. They, that was an absolutely needed win for them tonight. That was a must needed win. G5, you had an impressive, you had an impressive show in the last two weeks, but it, tonight wasn't your, wasn't your night. Tonight just wasn't your night, man. Sorry, sorry for you. Bro. Yep. Seems that way to me, partner. And for all we know, she might have gotten to Bobby Lashley too. What the fuck was that? What was that? Nah, that's clip. Last week we seen Scooter attack Bari. And now we have that match for the Far Cross. I mean, yeah, for the Far Cross Championship. That can't get a set. Wait a minute. Master Reyes going from behind and attacking Corey Diamond. And we can't confirm that Sonny will defend against both of these women. At, at King gonna sell this is a one on one match. Curry Diamond says she wants Mass and Reyes one on one before they have to meet each other at King of the Cell. Man. I know, look at this. Madison Reyes going after the leg. Oh, nice split leg drop by Madison Reyes. She's been dominating this match so far. A little chiropractor for Madison Reyes. And oh, nice, nice double knee drop to the head. You know, kick to the bench section. Another kick and another kick. What a nice combination of kicks by Madison Reyes. Diamond now she's trying to get some momentum. Oh, Michael Ray, eyes rip. And it's nice suplex. And her, her feet was under the rope. Nice, nice rope break. A oh, nice kick by Madison. But she missed it. And oh, oh my god, what a GTS. Bad boy, Diamond. Stopping the hand, oh, she's stopping the hand, matching again. Oh, come on, go in by, by Corey Diamond.
Only a two count. Suicide die. And she's striking up. Playing busted on the on the outside. Drop from the top rope to Corey Diamond's back. Oh, nice move by Madison. Two. Oh, and only a two count. This, oh my god, what a move by Corey Diamond. Diamond again. Oh, nice neck breaker. From Madison Reyes, Madison Reyes. She's trying to end this match, trying to get some more minutes going. The king of the cell. Look at this little premium. What an, what an incredible art career to No. Buster by Corey Diamond. And Corey Diamond. So top rope, top rope drop kick to Madison Reyes. by Corey Diamond. The Stentless Power Bomb by Madison Reyes. Knees to the back. What's what's good with my dog Curtis the Doc Jackson? I know you was doing some freaky man your work. You was doing some homework, freaky man. Take my hand, man. Take my hand. Let me get a hand. Take my 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 hand.
Hammers for business like that. We had a good Hammers for fame. Uh, yep, we got to see the tag team to kick the show off. Uh, it was definitely a good And now it's been Ray up getting so low. And then I'm going into the game of the cell. That was a really good, good, quick match from both women. And no shame in Corey Diamond losing here tonight. Madison Ray is just, it was just her night tonight. But they will be in a triple threat match for the SOT Championship at King of the Cell, man. That was a good match. It did happen, so the triple threat match is happening. That's good, that's good. That's it good. It is It's good to see. I was, I, was, I was wondering if that was going to be something that was going to be happening. I definitely wanted to see that happen, and I'm glad it's happening. And now let, let me let me get you up to speed on the show. We had Jones World competing in a one-on-one -on -one match against a debut superstar named Octavius Rocker. That was a good match. Jones ended up winning that match. But C Town attacked him with the championship to his head, standing tall mm. for tonight. And then we had the tag team match with DDT Boys and G5 DT Boys. They got a win. It's been a while since they got a win. It was a good match. Great match, actually. And we saw Max Riz get this W. Just now, and now we are here for King of the Cell tournament. Actually, we have Mega Man versus J Wolf X in one on one action here so, tonight. So, actually, I found out about J Wolf X. Um, but, so, he just goes by J Wolf. The X is actually, uh, uh okay. So, uh, it was, that, it, was, it was just the name came to him at the age of 10. He was just called J. Will, uh, around the age of 10. So he, he always put the X as a, as a member of what his family, you know, his nickname started with, originated from. So he actually doesn't go by J. Will in the case J. Will. Okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh, I really like that. Hey, but here we go. Nigga Man is here. He's trying to get up to where Ricky is. He's close to him. He's close to him. He's close to him. He's close to got to get this win here tonight. If you have not been watching Underground, I, I suggest you watch Underground live on Twitch. Uh, they they implore me to do an Underground show, man. You know what I mean? That's what you do. They only, whenever we do the Underground, I don't know when, but they call me. Or they call somebody and do it, and we just do it, man. Well, I implore y'all to watch Underground to make sure y'all not missing no tournament action. That's where we've been doing most of the tournament at. And Nigga Man has been—he's been—he's been on a quick little winning streak. But that can quickly end here tonight against this man, this man Jay Wolf from Chicago, Illinois. He's—he's he's a great. This is a, a great wrestler. He doesn't have. The track record, but he's he's pretty new, so I'm not gonna take that. I'm not gonna put that too much on him. Man. He's pretty new around here, around these parts in FOT, but he is an FNW star, though. He's down, yeah, he's he's FNW. Hey, you got to to break the Sure, quick. Okay, go ahead. Oh, Keep going, man. Jay <clears throat> Wolf is a former FNW champion, and he is currently the FNW world champion. He currently holds the gold. Um, I told him if he wanted to bring the title up, he could. He said, man, I just want to, I want to, I want to leave it at the, at the home, at the house. So I told him, man, if you ever want to bring it to the company, just to show to some of the competitors that I am winning somewhere, I might not get pushed the way I would like to be here, but on some platform, they are truly getting his shot. Uh, I told him he would get his shot there and just take time. He will get him soon. Uh, he's also a former Intercontinental Champion. Now, for those who don't know, um, he lost his Intercontinental Championship to the man that's right now being a menace to the that F O T W locker room shootout. Um, they have a long history with each other. Former friends turned rivals. They got a love hate relationship. Uh, right before Jay Wolf signed the, the contract to be on both brands, he was brutally attacked by Ken and Scooter. And the man who came to his rescue is the same man who came to Jones' rescue. The same man who's at D-Rose' rescue is C-Dot, man. And C-Dot told him if he leave from here, he will definitely be calling that man. He will definitely be down the line. So he hurt him down the line. They can get the line up together and take out a greater evil eventually, man. Because I would love to see these brothers back together. 
But yeah, he, oh, he nice has a nice little, he has nice little accolades. Uh, he, he has a brother right now who's coming up in, uh, he's on FSCW uh, Gold. He's on the Gold, so his name is Eliza Wolf. Eliza's mm. a, a great young talent. Uh, I told him he needs to, he's a little bit more charisma, a little more character before I offer to get him, before I, I, I come over and offer the, the contract to be the best man. I told him I need to leave, I see, see a little something that can, can offer both companies. I was like, right now you're just, you're not on the top of the echelon superstars. I mean, we got, we got contracts with Econ coming over, C-Dot comes over, Scooter, Ken, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, a man from the underground himself, Black Justice, Psychosis, he's seen the pictures the other thing, you know what I'm saying, there are superstars here, even, even, Jay Maul Coupon is another man from the company. There are a lot of people from the company who are upper echelon superstars who are coming over here. And some of them are in divisions that they didn't get to get the world title shot. So seeing them over here is a great shot to see them. Seeing lies, seeing 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 Jay in this in another company, seeing what he can do is great. I love seeing talent from the company that he's part of getting his chance to around the world. Currently right now. FNW is torn in Japan, so they will definitely work. And I told him that we were going to be in the state for FNW. He was like, man, I gotta be there. Um, he's mm -hmm. hoping to be at a show in Chicago to see his family right now, like I said. Um, so he wanted to stay in the state while we do the tour in Japan. Uh, he does have a title match soon. So, uh, the FNW trained there, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully he can retain. Hopefully next time you see him, he has the title with him. But who knows? You know, things can happen. Who knows? Everything is possible. You know, and that's all the people that you know, that y'all still on the lookout for coming up. We definitely got some some names, some names that have been dropped in the previous shows. Yeah. And uh, if you think if you catch my drift, that is how I'm going to come over to the work on this one. Uh, let's just say you ain't got a life to do it, but I'm going to love it. Mm. Well, I'm, glad, I'm so glad you mentioned Black Justice earlier because before I had too much, Black Justice and, and Blitz were having a conversation in the locker room that was cut short by Caleb. And Caleb asked, who, who was that? And, and Blitz just told him, don't trip, let's get this dub, and we're going to get the dub, man. Mm. That, was an inter that was an interesting conversation, but I need to know more about that. So, that shit really looks suspicious to me. Yeah, it might not be nothing, but it looks suspicious to me. If I'm, uh, if I'm in that situation, I'm definitely looking real eye. I'm looking over my shoulder at all times. Yeah, if I don't I'm definitely looking over my shoulder. Because that to me is just an odd situation. While we were talking about accolades, this has been a great match so far. Nigga Man mm -hmm. almost won this Oh my god, what a knee by Jay Wolf. Nigga Man has come a long way. And I'm definitely proud of him. I'm, I'm so proud of Nigga Man. Now, some people, let's, let's address something. Some people have been complaining about this kind of company. Some FOTW originals. Listen. Go to Nigga Man out. Nigga Man, he didn't say nothing. He didn't complain. He didn't went to work. Got better, got better drip, and became Dream Everyday Champion. He became Dream Everyday Champion, and now he's in this tournament. This, this King of the Sound tournament, and he ruined his entire tournament. He can get a title match whenever he wants it against whoever, whatever championship he wants. It could be the tag team titles, and you can go back for the Dream Everyday title. It could be the Underground Championship, the Fall Cross Championship. United States Championship, but if he really wants to go after the Royal Bridge Championship, he can. Nigga Man can do whatever he wants if he wins. It's like anybody that wins this tournament. But look at these. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He's loving my hate. He, he does what he's supposed to do. He has to just make it. I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you. With all that being said, I'm going to need you niggas to stop complaining. Some of these niggas are not world champion material. Some of these niggas are not frog frog champion material. Y'all niggas might be underground champion material. Okay? Some of y'all niggas need to play y'all roles. Play your roles. Be a role player. Come off the bench. You're not, you're not KD. You're not LeBron. You're not Steph. 
You're not even Draymond, nigga. You, you might be. You, 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 you might be. You know what? You might be 2024 20, Clay Thompson. That's what you is. Some of you niggas might be 2024 20, Clay Thompson, man. Wow. Nigga made it to the top rope. Oh, he missed it. Dead Wolf moves out of the way. And then all rip for a little to Nigga Man. And all rip for a drop it to the back of the way. That might be it. Jay Wolf is talking his shit to Nigga Man right there. Throws him into the corner. Close line. I'm Jay Wolf. I'm the 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 Nigga man wants to be at the top, he can be on the top. I don't think he can be at the bottom, he said it's my time now. Every time it's better than my time, I'm going to use this thing to my time. I'm going to put my time in the top. I'm going to put my time in the top. I'm going to put my time in the top. And nigga man went off diving moves. Look at him right there, but now he's still going, he's still in the attack mode. He's still in the attack. I like it, I like this. He's staying on the attack, he's not letting up on Jay Wolf all that time. And that's why I said I do like that man for that he's definitely continuously a prime pressure. Four. Four. Nice chop by Jay Wolf. Oh, nice knee. And then an inverted French is coming out. And a kip up by Nigga Man. Like, be careful against you flash against Nigga Man, man. He does capitalize. We get some sense of power, boy. Look at this. Puts him on the top rope. Can I just mop the top rope? Oh, kick to the midsection. And a boot to the back of the head. Oh, look at this fucking move. What a beautiful move. Oh, a nigga man with that ring awareness grabbing the ropes. Grabbing the bottom rope. Grabbing the bottom rope. He knew that it was getting scary. He needed to be scary. And on the King Sasha by Jay Wolf. Jay Wolf needs it like he needed to be losing. He needed that win and that gives him that puts him up to uh, he, I think six points in this tournament. He is tired with Nigga Man, actually. He's tired with Nigga Man. So he tired him with Nigga Man. That's amazing. But like I said, I implore you all to watch Underground. That's where we do a lot of the tournaments at. Because FOTW Nitro don't have a nice spot. But we do a lot of the tournaments at Underground. Born Underground. And it's a, it's a more intimate show, man. You get to know more of us, more of me, more of the characters here that's not usually shown on Nitro for me. So I yeah, so I, I suggest you watch Underground. Right. I'm fighting back to here, but I'm legit fucking mad, but like I've been hearing all these memes and shit for the past year. Cheering for a fucking white man who look like a MAGA leader. Just for this nigga to win the Royal Rumble and give it to his fucking Samoan cousin who's fifty five. Are you kidding me? But I'm about to crash out, bro. I swear to God, I'm about to crash out. Triple H, if you see this video, I'm finna fucking crash out. I swear to God, bro. 
I'll see you at the headquarters, nigga. Meet me halfway, bitch. Meet me halfway is crazy. Clip that. I need that clip. That's a clip. That is a, a perfect clip. <clears throat> That's a clip. That's a fucking... And here we go, KC. We are back. Ladies and gentlemen, there goes KC. Wait a minute, that's the squeezer. They was fighting a couple weeks back in the backstage, and now they're fighting here. It's not a match, by the way. These niggas just want to fight. Oh my god, military press slam by, by KC onto the squeezer on the stage. Okay, he always rips him across the stage, trying to get him to where he can grab some weapons, I guess. Oh, power slam by KC. These two hate each other. They want to fight. They don't want no, there's no, no talking, no, no matter that. They want to beat each other down. They want to, they want to fight, bro. On, 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 you know what I mean? They want to fight on pay-per-view, on TV, in a parking lot, in the airport, in the backstage, it don't matter. In the ring, out the ring, it don't matter. They want to fight. And look at, at the screens are grabbing a stick. Well, he's grabbing a steel chair already. And all oh, shit to the ribs of KC. And that chance in the legs of KC. Look at the screens here. Taunting the crowd as he beats down KC. But then but he's not done. Oh, knee to the arm. Oh, nice knee to the face. This freezer. Look at this boot to the face of KC. And now he's going out of the room for another weapon. Oh, he hits KC in the face of the table. Oh man, he's about to throw him through a table right here. Look at these kicks. Gosh, this reason. Kicking. Strike your own KC with some strikes of his own. Give some momentum back and kick to the face. And OKC, okay, he's got he's got the squeezer on the table. And OKC. Okay, and OK KC, that was kinda Okay. Oh, but oh, KC the backhand to the chest. That's not much strikes. For, for the squeezer. Look at the squeezer. He's got him on the ropes. Wait a minute. KC. He's trying to he's trying to fix the table. He fix the table, try to get him in a better position. And his DDT. This is not even a match. These niggas want to fight. They want to brawl. This is a, just a big ass brawl between these two motherfuckers. Super kick by KC. And KC, what a young one not going to this squeezer. And KC's going back to that. Wait a minute. Oh, he's putting a table on fire. He wants to put this freezer through that flaming table, but the squeezer's not letting him. Oh, Meteor! Right, 
that we got moved out the way. The squeezer with a toe thing going zero to to KC. And now he's setting up the table, this time in the ring. And now, and now the squeezer going up top rope. Oh, BDR from that top rope. To the face of KC. KC needs to do something right now. The Screes is trying to end this man's career. And look at this suplex. And oh my god, nice one on the move by, by this freezer. Now he's stomping him out. He's, he's stomping on the face of KC. Oh my god, through the table. And then this freezer, it might be looking. I know he's not looking for another table. He is, he's looking for one last table. And he pushes the table into the ring. And I'm meeting your again. Grab the table as KC is sitting in the corner. And he puts the table on fire again. Trying to do some more damage on the outside, or maybe he's trying to throw him back into the ring. Throws him back into the ring. And oh, oh my god, a front slam through the flaming table to KC. But KC is getting up on his feet. I don't know if we want to do that. Oh my god, not this power bomb maneuver again. Not this maneuver again. This this is what took out KC for a month and a half. And the squeezer is just looking at looking at his work as he as he takes out KC again during this brawl. And he's walking towards the lock. That was a dangerous brawl, but we are still here in Memphis, Tennessee. We have our next match, which is Tajir Lawson. And speaking of Black Justice, here comes Black Justice. 
going one on one with Tyus Jerry Lawson in this King of the Sale Tournament matchup here tonight. Give a nigga epilepsy and shit, all the way. And let's get this match started. FOTW King of the Cell Tournament action right now. Ty J. Lawson versus Black Justice. Black Justice. Oh, a poor dog beating team. Look at this hurricane on it. By Black Justice. And an arm drive by Black Justice. Right, first time by Black Justice. And now he's going up to the top row. Oh, to the runner. Going for the pin. By, by Black Justice. Seven. Oh, remember, this is a count of 15. Oh, nice, nice, and you're a Nagi. Oh, it went from the neighbor's with his feet. Justice. Tyjay Lawson needs to get his head in the game. 
Oh, nice counter by uh, Tajir. And oh, cross school moves up by Tajir. Another cross school moves up. Oh, nice hit. Another head scissors. This time by 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 Tajir Lawson. by Black Justice to Tyra Lawson. Only a two. Man. Oh, nice effort. Oh, good ball by Tyra. Don't look for Tyra moves the same way. And a smart kick. Dragon screw. And it all slamming the leg on the, on the mat, slamming the arm on the mat. Put the stomp to the face. Shotgun for his troubles. Oh, stopping both legs. Oh, Black Justice. Black Justice. Oh, he's going for a three amigo. Again, this time inside of the ring. He goes two. And hits up with one more three amigo. Scissors and a kick and a drop kick to the head. Going for the pin. Two. Two. Drop 
kick to the head. And a claim on all. Black Justice reverses the claim on two. Black Justice going up to the top rope. And a flying splash from the from the left side of the ring to the right side. One, two. No. Side of the ring. Oh, knee to the face. Oh, black justice. Oh my God. Get back into the ring this morning. Before the pitching count, he does. Oh, wait a minute. Tires are coming in. Tires are coming in. GTS. One, two, no. Top rope, and now Tyler's gonna take advantage. Elbow drop to the leg. Oh, he's going for a pit, a spin, a handspring, play leg kick. He missed it. Oh, look at this leg wrench. You see that leg, bones in that leg, and Tyler's now Black just going up to the top rope. Look at this head scissors. Fuck blood gestures. That frog splash again. Oh, it is Taiji. Taiji. Taiji with a submission roll. We're both just as tap out. We're both just as tap out. He's got it locked in on Black Justice. And Black Justice gets out of that submission order. We yeah, almost got critical for that man. But oh, Tyson coming into that GTS. 
You know what, T-Mac? I'm about tired of your bickering. I'm about tired of your jokes. I got some for you. How about this? Me and you, mano y mano, man to man. How about me and you meet at King of the Cell? Just me and you. No arguing, no interferences, no nothing. Just man to man, me and you. Now, if I beat your ass, then I mean, hey, the best man win. So how about this? Me and you, King of the Cell, let's get a crack. Oh my god, Ken Tron has challenged T-Mac to another match at King of the Cell. But here comes Mr. Royale himself, D-Rose. D-Rose won the Royale, the FOTW Royale match in his hometown of Chicago, Illinois. And now he's gonna face either Jones World or the current reigning defending World and World Champion C Town at Freaky Mania. But tonight he is facing a man that just got challenged to a match at King of the Cell. T Mac in our main event here tonight. We are two weeks away from King of the Cell in Toronto, Canada. Repping his home city, his hometown team, the Chicago Bears, representing Jess, Justin Fields at number one jersey. Here comes one of the more hated superstars on this roster, T Mac. T Mac has threatened to sue FOTW because of his. Losing, but I'm getting word that before he came out, he accepted Ken Charles' uh, challenge, and he says he wants to make it a steel cage match so no one escapes. And I can confirm that that match has been made official. We will see T Mac versus Ken Tron in a steel cage match one on one at King of the Cell. Um, a pay-per-view before Freaky Mania and they will face each other in a casket match. So maybe T-Mac can get his, finally get a win. But here we go. T-Mac first D-Rose. Now, if any OGs remember these two had a these two had a FOT rules match that they beat the hell out of each other which these two made that match an actual match. There was no FOT rules match before these two, so we'll give them big credit for that. Cause they beat the shit out of each other in an extreme in a, in a in a regular match, and we decided to make it a, a FOT rules match. The first of their kind. They they were the first ones to do that match, so that we gotta give them their props for that, man. They made that match into what it is, man. But now T Mac is all over. Oh, dodge by D Rose. T Mac, a, a win over the Warrior one that would give T Mac a lot of momentum. Nice suplex on the Haken. Yeah. Oh, a punch the face.
Elbow drop, no, D Rose moves out of the way. Look at this. Oh, he's going for a springboard DT, but D Rose went out of the way and then hits him with a drop kick. Head to this by D Rose. Splash by T-Man going for a pin. One, only a one. Oh, front splash by T-Man. And oh, nice counter by D-Rose. Some strikes in the corner. Oh man, nice, nice bull dog by D Rose. Look at this combination by D Rose. And D Rose is going up to the top rope. He's trying to end it early. Swan time bomb. Two. Only a two. Look at this roll up by D Rose one. Oh, yeah. And oh, look at this. A tope by D Rose. Oh my God, what an eclipse to the outside of the ring by D. Rose. All over T Mac right now. Look at this. Throws him into the corner. Oh, nice counter from D Rose. D Rose. What a nice springboard and drop coop. To T Mac. And now he's getting him up. Oh, a chop. And that combo again. The Chicago combo. And D Rose going up to the top row. Swan time bomb. That's it. That's it. No, it's not it. T Mac kicks out once again. Super kick. And then an attack seal. And T Mac kicks out once again. T Mac does not want to lose this match here tonight. Here in that folks, you got here in Memphis. And now D Rose. D Rose in the hair of Camerano. Going up to the top rope. Oh, splash no teammate. And he's taunting. And now teammate. With that swinging neck breaker. To D Rose going for a pin. And his foot was under the rope. You gotta get him off from under the rope now.
Oh, Springboard Cold Line by D Rose. This, oh, look at that face pressure by D Rose going for a pin. One, two, only a two. And D Rose with a crossbody to T Mac. He goes with a drop kick to the side of the head. He goes going up to the top rope. This gotta be it. Two on top bombs to T Mac. This over. One, two, three. What a match from D Rose. D Rose getting some, getting some home minimum. Going into freaky mania, but that's a while, that's a long time from now. But there goes C dot once again staring down D Rose. The Mace just shook hands. Wait a minute. That's Freaky Nation. That's Boy in C Town. And they and they are talking trash to C dot and D Rose. We would like to thank you all for coming and we will see you next time.